You know, I've always loved Transformers toys. And the release of Rise of the Beast definitely, uh, you know, filled that gap. I don't know. And I recently went to a Transformers convention. And I got the rarest figure of the moment. So I thought I'd make a little collection. Although I've had a couple of these for many years. So on top of the Godzilla collection, I am proud to announce that I have a new Transformers collection. My poor wallet. But without further ado, let's get into my Transformers collection of 2023. Starting off at the very bottom shelf, I have some of my boxes. We got Legacy, Studio Series, Mainline, and all that. As you could tell, I tried to number it in numerical order. And you may be wondering why this isn't on the very back, it's because it's 03. And then RC's doesn't have a number. Also have the Red Series Knockout and Optimus Primal. Uh, uh, Optimus Primal. And then we got Blur, Megatron, Bumblebee Optimus, uh, Air Razor, uh, Bumblebee, New Optimus, even though it's not really a, you know, yeah, uh, Rhinox and RC. And then Mainline Rhinox and Legacy Bulkhead. Starting with the very first, <laughs> I know this is the most empty shelf out of my entire shelf space, but I only have one Predacon. Anyway, let's get into the very f actually the full stuff shelf. Pseudo Series 97 Air Razor. I have her in her birdie mode because she didn't transform in Rise of the Beasts. Rest in peace. Then we have the mainline Voyager class Rhinox with his spinny Gatling gun to doom. Red Series Primal. The original one, not the, not the newer one. A beautiful Dinobot card with the golden disc behind it. This came with Paleo Treks. And then there was also a sticker I slapped onto my water bottle. Then we have, uh, I don't know what line, well the Beast Alliance line. Uh, Battlemaster Primal and uh, Tigatron, I guess. And then the obvious Stasis Lock sticker. And then I also slapped the other one and that uh, on behind. Got that from the Gary Chalk booth. I'll talk to you about that in a second. Now we have the Studio Series 103 Rhinox, which is honestly a pretty good figure. I do prefer the mainline one just a teensy bit more just because of the paint, but movie accuracy, I like him a lot more. Now for the Decepticons. We got this little gnaw here. He came in a three pack of a character that I forgot his name and there's also two other ones. Or for Cybertron Siege Shockwave. Really like this figure, recommend it. Check out my short for it, link in the description. Uh, you'll see it. Mini Shockwave. And I know because I'm bringing him up, you know, the micro, or not microwave, the uh, Shockwave Saga. Yeah, I don't know about that. Behind both of them, we got the Red Series Prime Verse Knockout. I might get the Legacy Prime, uh, yeah, Legacy Prime Verse Knockout, but I don't know. And then behind all of these guys, we have this um, uh, trailer that came with the Nemesis Prime spoiler pack. And then on the trailer, we have Studio, C Studio Series, uh, Revenge of the Fallen Soundwave, and Berserker. And then we have some more of these little guys. We got Combiner Wars Blackjack, Core Class Legacy Iguanas, and Core Class Legacy Skywarp. All these Core Classes are good figures for their cheap price tag. Then we have uh, the War for Cybertron Earthrise uh, Fast Track. He is the definition of a parts former, I'm not even joking. Now we have the Studio Series Demolisher. This guy is freaking huge, and I love it. With Scavenger, we have Giza that came with this Nemesis Prime figure. This was the Transformers War of Cybertron Kingdom, I believe? Spoiler pack. And then we have the R.I.D. Soundwave. And then we have the obvious Starscream. Then we have the Core Class Nemesis Prime next to Big Boy Prime and Core Class Megatron. And then we have the regular Megatron. I used to have a Studio Series- well, I still have them, but I have a Studio Series Revenge of the Fallen Megatron, but his freaking head is missing. Yippee! Now, for the Autobot shelf, the most packed. Here we have, I think it's either Earthrise or Siege, I forgot who, uh, Sideswipe and Hound. Obviously, he's not from War for Cybertron series, but Hound. 
And then behind these guys, we have the Studio Series 86 Blur. And then behind all of them, we have the Yolo Park Bumblebee, Funko Grimlock, and One Step Already Ratchet. The Bumblebee figure is amazing, and I recommend for the 30 bucks you pay for it. In USD, obviously. But anyway, a uh, Funko Pop Retro Toys Series 69 hit Grimlock. And I don't know if you see it down there, but it was a uh, limited edition. And then my one and only Ratchet figure. I really do want the Studio Series Bumblebee movie, Ratchet, just saying. And then we have the Studio Series 100 Bumblebee. Really good figure, although mine has more face painting, so ha ha. In all seriousness, I don't know if I got like a reissue or something, but I don't care. And then we have the Yolo Park Bumblebee hands right here. Now we have the Prime uh, team, I don't know. Studio Series 38 Bumblebee movie Optimus Prime. I'm loving it. He's a little chunky compared to the newer Optimus Prime. This is like one of the rarest figures right now at the time of recording this. I found him at a convention. And then we have Mini Prime. He is custom and I do... Uh, I might get the Legacy Optimus Prime, even though he's the exact same figure. Anyway, we have the Core Class Rise of the Beasts Studio Series RC. And then we have Legacy Prime vs. RC, so we got RC and RC, you see what I did there? And then we have the obvious Minicon I forgot the name of. And then behind RCs, we have Drippy Miss Prime. Yes, this is obviously the War of Cybertron Siege Optimus, but you know, I got the chain and everything. He's Drippy Miss Prime now. And then over here, we have the Beast Alliance Optimus Prime from Rise of the Beast. Great figure, oh, great figure, he has a little wolf too. And um, yeah, really good, simple, but nice. And then we have the Transformers, War of Cybertron, Earthrise, Blue Streak. Pretty decent, loving him. He's just a great overall figure. Recommend it. I lost his accessories though. And then here's the Legacy Voyager Class uh, Prime vs. Bulkhead. And here's his little shield. I put it there because shelf space stuff, but I like it there. And his Energon minigun is ready for shooting. Now, behind him, we have this. The Transform or well, Fungo Pop Retro Toys Collection Optimus Prime. And then the obvious RID Optimus Prime standing on top of it. But there's something special about this Funko Pop. If we just take that guy and put him over there, you may notice that this Funko Pop is signed. You may be wondering who is it signed by? Gary Chalk. And obviously he's not the voice actor of Prime, he's the actor voice actor Optimus Primal over here, but he's still signed, and I, this, like, the holy grail, but yeah. And I almost forgot to mention the Transformers Devastation PS4 game. Really fun, let me know if you all want to watch me live stream this. But who's your favorite figure out of my entire collection? Mine definitely has to be the Studio Series 102 Rise of the Beast Optimus Prime. But yeah, that is my entire Transformers collection as of 2023. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more like it, please consider liking and subscribing and maybe showing my content around to, uh, to people who you think would like it. But that's it. I hope you all enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next video.